Biden administration threatening action against Uganda's anti-gay bill. When America's Zach Peterson has more. Uganda is cracking down on homosexuality. Gay acts are already illegal in the country. But the parliament passed a bill Tuesday that makes it illegal to even identify as LGBT, carrying with it a life in prison sentence. It also requires families, friends, and neighbors to report people in same-sex relationships to authorities. Individuals, institutions, or journalists that support, fund, or promote gay rights also face 10 years to life in prison. Gay pedophiles are subject to the death penalty. The bill was passed with widespread support and enthusiastic cheers in the parliament Tuesday. This country will stand firm. And once it passed, I can tell you, Madam Speaker, we are going to reinforce the law enforcement officers to make sure that homosexuals have no space in Uganda. One Ugandan lawmaker said he supported the bill to protect the future of the children. And quote, our creator God is happy about what is happening. The White House, on the other hand, was quick to condemn Uganda's passage of the anti-gay bill on Wednesday, striking a chord with the openly gay press secretary herself. We have grave concerns with the passage of the Anti-Homosexuality Act, AHA, by the Parliament of Uganda yesterday, an increasing violence targeting LGBTQI plus persons. The bill is one of the most extreme anti-LGBTQI plus laws in the world. Human rights are universal. No one should be attacked, imprisoned, or killed simply because of who they are or whom they love. National Security Spokesperson John Kirby said the U.S. may have to step in and take action against Uganda. We're certainly watching this real closely and uh, we would have to take a look at whether or not there might be um, uh, repercussions that we would have to take per per perhaps in an economic uh, way uh, should this law actually get passed uh, and enacted. And that would be really unfortunate because uh, so much of the economic assistance that we provide Uganda is health assistance. Since 2004, the U.S. has invested more than $3 billion in the president's emergency plan for AIDS relief, known as PEPFAR Uganda. The White House is threatening to remove this funding that directly provides care for more than 1.5 million Ugandans living with HIV and AIDS. Although same-sex relations are illegal in 32 of Africa's 54 countries, the White House is selectively targeting the predominantly Christian country of Uganda, making no such threats against the Muslim African countries with similar laws. The legislation is headed to President Yuweri Museveni, who has repeatedly denounced homosexuality, but has also signaled a desire to maintain good relations with Western financiers like the U.S. Zach Peterson, One America News.